What's up, you guys? We're going to cover the news as usual, but I'm going to get into some secrets as to why GameFi and DeFi are going to be one of the big catalysts, the big keys for Tron TRX, BitTorrent BTT, and your hodling diamond hands. So before I get into it, if you're new to the channel, thanks for dropping by. Hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell because you're going to not miss out on insights that I promise you are going to put you at a higher level of cryptocurrency status in terms of moves, information, and thoughts that make you feel the way you should feel excited that you're hodling Tron TRX, BitTorrent BTT, and other cryptos too. If you're a returning subscriber, subscriber can't speak thank you very much i appreciate you very very much we're going to do our flash round through the news like we usually do and then i'm going to share some insights after we cover the news and prices where stuff's sitting out right now i'll share some insights about what i'm talking about with GameFi and DeFi. so let's go to and yes i didn't say defi and game fee today so bitcoin we got here sitting at forty three thousand four hundred and eighty dollars and thirty nine cents we got 3,000 for Ethereum. We got Cardano sitting at 220. We got Ether doing what it should do. We got Binance at $347, I think is a bargain. We got Solana at 145 before the crying starts because well, it's just a gut feeling I have. There's some monkey business going on there. I don't know what exactly, and I could be 100% wrong, but that's my two cents worth there. Not investment advice, just my opinion. We got Polkadot at 2887. We got Doge at 20 cents. We got Avalanche at 71 dollars and 70 cents. Uniswap 2391. We got Binance USD doing what it should do at a dollar. And let's just fly on over to Tron in the 27th position. Now we got 0 0.088 cents. We got Ethereum Classic at 46.82. Where is where is where is BitTorrent? Where are you? There you are, 0 0.0032, bargain in my opinion, not investment advice. You should go in there with all hands, feet, nose, ears, face, and eyeballs. Now, we got Binance blocks fiat deposits and spot crypto trading for Singapore users. This is a couple hours ago. By the way, we are the 27th of September. I may post this later today. If not, I'll post it latest tomorrow. It is 2021. It's 1032 Eastern Standard Time. Binance blocks fiat deposits and spot crypto trading for Singapore users. The crypto exchange giant has announced further restrictions to its operations in Singapore amid regulatory scrutiny. Binance has announced some changes to its crypto trading services for customers in Singapore. According to a statement on its website published on Monday, Singapore-based users will be geofenced from certain account functions on the Binance website. So you can check this out at Cointelegraph. I share my sources as usual, which you all know. Now we got Bitcoin breaking new highs in Q4 will temporarily turn alts to dust. I think this is a load of horse coal. Things will get exciting in Q4, but not before a convincing floor is put in across crypto analysts say this week. So listen, you guys. And yes, again, in case new commenters freak out, I'm bullish on crypto. I'm bullish on alts. I'm bullish on everything, but I'm not bullish on Bitcoin doing a dance to 100K until next year. I've been saying it before the crash. I'll keep saying it till on every single video, and I'll admit I'm wrong if things change. Bitcoin's range bound 30 to 45K for the rest of the year. Um, here, Bitcoin was losing. Okay, Bitcoin was busy losing. Oh, yeah, here's what I wanted to talk about. I lost my train of thought actually. If everybody, if all it was about is charts, everyone would learn how to read charts, which aren't too hard to read. And everyone would make zillions trading crypto, right? Because you'd have your charts, you'd have your four, five, six, eight, nine, ten monitors scrolling across your desk. And you'd be like a Las Vegas slot machine. All you'd have to do is click, 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 chart, 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 click, click, click. And all of a sudden, Jed's a billionaire. Well... It's not just about charts. It's just not about just knowing how to read them. You got to know how to read the media. You got to know how to read news cycles. You need to understand marketing. You need to understand momentum, what news cycles mean and how they interact and affect and work with charts, quants, everything. You need a deep understanding of all these things. So 
Again, not investment advice, but I promise you much more often than not, this channel, that's why you wanna hit the bell and the like button if you like what I'm saying, and subscribe, comment down below. This channel will save you a lot of time and aggravation. So, analysts on Bitcoin, right now we're stuck. They say, okay, so data from Cointelegraph Market Pros and Trading View showed BTC USD dropping to around 1,000 before overnight highs of 44,400 on Bitstamp on Monday. The, more, the move constitutes a rejection at a crucial zone to break Cointelegraph contributor Michael Van de Pop explained, probably butchered his name, whatever, with 42,000 now the key level to hold for a higher low. Bitcoin, he summarized in his latest YouTube update, was acting in an increasingly narrow range. And right now, we're stuck, he said, pointing to 47,000 coming should the 44,000 zone be reclaimed. So, again, 40, 30 to 45 grand, no matter what anybody says, is what I expect. On the downside, the zone between 38,000 and 40,000 remained valid uh, for a bounce, while the complete failure of the range as support would then send BTC USD towards its 2021 opening price around $28,000. If 42,000 is lost, I think we're going to have into the lows here and take the liquidity beneath the low before I'm fighting a sneeze, by the way. So if my face starts going wild, you'll know why. It went away. No, it didn't. Okay. That was good. Right now we're stuck, he said. Okay, on the downside, the zone between right, I was there if 42,000 is lost. I think we're gonna have into the lows here and take the liquidity beneath, beneath the low, beneath the low before we're going to have an artificial reversal at this stage. Okay. We've got Cardano to enable new um, DeFi stablecoin with Cody. We got UOB outlines plan for Chinese investors after halting crypto trading. I'm going to get to the game fine DeFi and Tron and BitTorrent in a moment. China fear is now uh, infrastructure bill fear. Five things to watch in Bitcoin this week. This is going to rattle the chains of Bitcoin and everything else for the next little bit. Uh, not as much as you might think, but it will give the smackdown and a slap down prices overall in general. Short term, next couple of weeks going a bit lower in my opinion. From bans to bills, the FUD is strong for Bitcoin and crypto this week, but traders are overwhelmingly optimistic about BTC price action. We got Uniswap, UNI gains nearly 50% in 24 hours as China's latest crypto purge boosts DEX tokens. And we've got a new platform combines DeFi and AI trading to facilitate crypto investing. This is interesting. Um, the inaugural summer of decentralized finance in 2020, when millions of dollars in the form of crypto were invested in DeFi platforms, caught the attention of people around the world. So when gaming and, oh, I just noticed something. I just switched my uh, computer not too long ago to a MacBook Pro, one of my computers. Uh, and I noticed that now I don't need to set a timer anymore because it conveniently shows me the timing of the video and sometimes I would blow your eardrums out, you guys. Apologies for that. Uh, so that's, well, it's a pretty good feature. And it even shows me how many gigs the video is. All right. So I had no idea until I looked down here to see what's happening. So anyway, GameFi, DeFi. So what's going to happen is, see, the more fun you can make your crypto, because people like games. So do adults that even think they don't like games, because as children, we're trained to like games. So what's happening is GameFi and DeFi, as it progresses, as the ease of use, the mainstreaming and Tron with BitTorrent um, and NFTs and everything else is heavily, heavily very deep into the gaming. That's why it's going to be one of the leaders. If you guys can be patient, you will moon. And it's going to be largely because of the GameFi, DeFi structures, because these structures make it very, very sticky. And sticky is an internet term, which basically means that when people keep coming back to a website, to adapt an app over and over and over again, you've built the, um, the ultimate water cooler, and when you build the ultimate water cooler, there's only one thing that happens. Millions and millions of dollars are made, and it's something that it becomes like an insurance for you guys. So you are covered, in my opinion. Hope this finds you healthy, happy, and I will see you all on the next video.